Hello, greetings from Bajaj Indep. Indep P is a flagship product of company with rich history. It was first introduced 60 years ago and has since become a popular in the material handling industry. The product has been highly regarded by its users who appreciate its quality and versatility. And it has developed a loyal customer base over the years. The Indep P chain bully block is renowned for its ruggedness and sturdiness, making it ideal for use in demanding environments. Its high quality construction made with durable materials and built to rigorous standards ensures that it can withstand heavy use and toughest lifting tasks. Because of its popularity, it is becoming more and more common to come across duplicates of our Indep P in the market. In this video, we will compare the original Indep P with the one of the duplicate variant available in the market. This comparison will empower you with necessary information to make wise purchasing decisions. These are the two covers. This one right side of mine is the original in-depth cover. Left side this is the duplicate cover. On the original cover there is a, a, a tested sticker as well as the warning sticker. Inside the cover there is a QR code which is sticked on the inside of the place of the cover. Here on the duplicate one, there is nothing is given and we can make out from these two. Look at the shade of the cover. This shade is different than the Indef original cover. Again, the sheet metal used is also of a different thickness for the these two one. Another th thing is the concentricity of this particular cover. The used die and other, this, this is the makeshift die of a cover. So these are the different variants and you can make it from the same where the duplicate and original index cover are there. Another distinguishing feature is the nameplate. If the nameplates uh, look at the nameplate, both the nameplates are look like looking like the same but the fonts used are the different one. On the same one, there is a collaborated HADEF name is mentioned on the duplicate where on the index one it is not mentioned. Look at the ISI logo and CE logo. On the ISI logo, the font, the size, shape is specified on the BS, as per BSI norms. The CML number which is printed below the ISI logo which will give you the registration of Hercules Voice Limited. On the other hand, for the another cover, the CML number is mentioned which will now not have Hercules Voice registration. So you can find out it from the Bureau of Indian Standards website. Here also the font, the size, everything is different than our uh, in-depth one. Look at the hand chain wheels. The black one is in-depth one. The zinc plated, yellow zinc plated is of a duplicate one. The both the constructions are different. In-depth one is a cast iron hand chain wheel with 14 pockets and positive seating arrangement for the hand chain. Here in the duplicate one, it is a fabricated sheet metal part which is a but, uh, spot welded component with this particular hub bolted on the hand chain wheel. This is the difference, basic difference, major difference in the two hand chain wheels. Another part is we are doing it with the black powder coating on our hand chain, cast iron hand chain wheels. Here it is zinc plated. Third is the QR code is pasted on each of the component where it is QR code is not mentioned. Another major difference in the machining of the threads. The number of starts in the difference and in our in-depth case it is a different. The start point is near to the this cam. Here the start point is away from the cam. If you see the total <laughs> overall width of the hand chain wheel is also different. We can make out from this, these two. Uh, sizes left side and the right side of the hand chain wheels. In addition to that, if you look at the pocket size, the pocket size is suitable for the, our hand chain and it, is, it has a positive sitting arrangement where in the fabricated one it is missing. Look at the bearings. The overall width is also different than original one. The surface finish, the workmanship is different in both the cases. The right side of me is the Indef P original component ratchet pawn and here the left side is of a duplicate 
CPB ratchet pop. Basic difference is of a material, manufacturing process and the shape of the particular component. Here in INDEF P we use investment casting. In the duplicate one, it is a machined sheet metal part which, which has a different dimensions. Here in the we, we follow the uh, specific heat treatment for the ratchet pawn. Here it is not done. So both are the <coughs> components, it will look like the same, but it will have a different life. These are the chain strippers. Right side is the end of P chain stripper and left side is of a duplicate chain stripper. If you see the shape is different, the material of construction is different and the angle provided for the chain stripping is also different. Again, the mounting dimensions are different and the particular hole size is bigger in the duplicate one, lesser in the indef P. If you see the thickness of the material also, it is a variance. These are the guide holders in the chain pulley block. The right side is of a indef P and left side is of a duplicate one. Look at the surface finish and the surface coating quality. Right side is a yellow zinc passivation, left side it is unknown and the surface is also a rough one. If you look at the dimensions, height, width and the diameters of a roller are different. Look at the particular inner diameter. Here it is of a thinner one and in the P is, it is a wider one. If you look at the diameters of an end, that is also different in the size. If you look at the total height of a guide rollers, it is also of a different sizes. So from this, you can make out the uh, duplicate uh, guide roller and the original guide roller. These are the ratchet ring in the chain pulley block. Right side one is of a indep P, left side is of a duplicate one. Look at the surface finish, size, shape of a ratchet ring and the angle provided on the index P as well as in the duplicate one. These are the two different uh, with angles. This will, this will describe you about the breaking mechanism of a, both the CPBs. Here the shape itself will define to give the higher breaking mechanism. Here it is as a less one. Another thing is total thickness of the ratchet ring wheels. These are the brake discs used in the chain pulley block. Right side is of a index P, left side is of a duplicate CPB. Look at the main brake disc. The material is of a non-asbestos in the index P. In the duplicate one, it is a asbestos material, which is a uh, ban nowadays for the usage. Another is the, the material for the this rubber disc. If you see the thickness as well as the uh, material is different in the both the cases. Left side is of a duplicate one, right side is of a index P. So these are the two different materials, two different construction and which will affect the life of the braking mechanism. These are the main shaft of the chain pulley block. Right side is of a index P, left side is of a duplicate CPB. The bearing diameters are ground in the index P. Or on the contrary or the duplicate one, those are the machined one. The surface finish is also of a higher grade in the index P. It is a lower in the index uh, duplicate one. Here, if you see the end machinings of the gear teeth is of profiles also for a different one. These are the two major factors to be noticed in the main shaft. These are the main load chain wheel in the chain pulley block. Right side is of a index P, left side is of a duplicate CPB. Look at the pockets. Index P chain load chain wheel is of a investment casting. Here it is of a sand casting. The casting defects are clearly visible in the pockets. On the contrary, in the index P load chain wheel, the chain sitting area is clean, neat and clean. There are no casting defects. Look at the surface finish as well. Here in the duplicate one, it is of a, with a red oxide and in the index P load chain wheel is with a uh, surface coating of a white uh, yellow zinc passivation. Look at the machining of the bores of the load chain wheel. Those are also distinguishing factors in the both the load chain wheel. 
in the duplicate one if you see the breaking area where the break discs are fixed that is of a reduced size here the diameter of the particular um, uh, break disc mounting is of a bigger size one again it is uh, the qr code is pasted on the index p to know the genuine part these are the loads per wheel used in the chain pulley block assembly right side is of a index p left side is of a duplicate one look at the material surface finish in the bearing diameter machining of the splines these are the different and this is a ground one here in this one if you see the casting surface finish as well as there are two different holes given in the index p loads per wheel here those holes are not given in this one so it looks like it has a some crude method of manufacturing where it is it is a fine machining these are the spur wheel used in the chain pulley block right side is of a index p left side is of a duplicate one if you see the machining quality gear tip profile is different in both the cases if you compare both the cases in the index p the shaft is ground, ground harder and ground for the both the ends here it is not ground the tooth profile itself is a different one and on the index p there is a distinguishing mark as a o which is used in the safe assembly and a right assembly first time right assembly on the duplicate one there is no such marks are being given so that is important for the assembly perspective let us look at the hooks of bottom hook block of the chain pulley block this one is the original index p this is the duplicate one look at the half swell of a lower hook block here the index name is embossed and on the hook there is a hercules part number is embossed on the hook in the front front side there is a swl the design standard and there is a distinguishing mark as sf is mentioned on the duplicate one there is no index marking there is no part number mentioned on the hook and there is no distinguishing mark on the hook as after this also there are differences in the overall sizes of the hook also the sitting dia of the hook index p is different than the duplicate one the cross section of the hook is also different one so size variation is there the same is applicable to the upper hook block as well i hope this video was informative with these few observations you can be sure that you are getting original index p block remember to always check the right packaging look for the serial number or just scan through the qr code you can also register your product on our genuine index app to check its authenticity well always remember purchasing a duplicate or cheaper product can have several consequences firstly the quality of these products is usually lower and may not perform the same standards as the original this can result in a shorter life span of the product increase maintenance cost and can also compromise the safety of the users lastly by purchasing a duplicate product you are supporting an illegal and unethical practices so it's important to always choose the right original product which is guaranteed to be the highest quality safety and performance standards thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe for more helpful videos